If you're spraying your fragrances like this or doing this, you're seriously reducing the efficacy of that fragrance to last long on your skin and to project that scent around you. Now, if you want to know how to apply fragrance properly according to science, how to make sure that your fragrances last on your skin and it gets you compliments from people around you, then you've come to the right place. First things first, let's make sure that you're not applying fragrance while you're dirty to hide body odor, for example. That doesn't make the BO go away, it only adds another scent to the mix and it can be overwhelming and gross. I get it, sometimes you wanna spray a fragrance after your workout, when you're leaving the gym, because you might run into someone on your way home, for example, and that's fine, but keep in mind, they will probably still be able to smell your sweaty clothes on top of the cologne that you spray. The best time to spray a fragrance is after you shower, when you're clean, and ideally right after you you moisturize your clean skin with a body lotion. Now, why is this? Why do experts always say to moisturize your skin before spraying a fragrance? Well, how long the scent lasts on your skin is dependent on the concentration of the fragrance and how dry your skin is. If you have dry skin, the scent will quickly fade away. The lotion or the oil, what they do is they create a layer on your skin that the fragrance molecules can hold on to longer, so that's why it's better to apply lotion first. And pro tip, if you don't have any moisturizing oil, or lotion. Vaseline also works really well. Just rub a small amount into your pulse points before spraying the fragrance. And as you can see, I'm demonstrating with these beautiful Ajmal fragrances. This is their gold collection and this is their blanche collection. Now my favorite is definitely number five from the gold collection. It's beautiful. I really like how it's a mix of fresh, spicy, and woody all in one. It's a beautiful blend. So when you wear this out at night, in a summer night, like now for example, you get that sexiness of the spicy warm notes like cardamom amber, tonka bean, leather, but you get the freshness of green apple, mandarin, and orange blossom. I wore this on a date the other day, and I'm not saying the date went well just because of the fragrance, but she did compliment me and said that I smelled really good, so there you go. They're made in the UAE with high quality ingredients, and you can tell. The scent lasts a really long time. It's not one of those fragrances that you have to overspray and hope that you're gonna smell good in two hours. This will make you smell great for easily six to eight hours. Ajmal sponsored today's video, and I thought it was the perfect opportunity to make this video on the proper way of applying fragrance to make sure that it lasts as long as possible on your skin. The Ajmal Gold and Blanche collections are available exclusively at Perfume Mania stores across the US. So now that you're clean, you apply the body lotion, where should you spray the fragrance, right? That's the real question here. How do we actually do the thing? Well, the best chance that you have for your fragrance to last longer is to apply directly to the warmest parts of your body, which will be your pulse points. And the reason why your pulse points are warmer is because that's where our arteries lie near the surface of the skin. Our blood is warm, it keeps those areas warmer than the rest. And here are the main pulse points for the human body. One, your inner wrist. Right underneath your jaw and close to your ears, at the temple above and to the outer sides of your eyes, on the side of your neck, on the inner side of your biceps, your groin, behind the knees, and on top of your foot. Now, does that mean that you need to apply fragrance to all of those pulse points? No, I would recommend underneath your ears, one on each side, and that will also get your carotid artery right here on the sides of your neck as well. I like to spray one on each wrist, but you can also spray in your inner elbow crease, close to your biceps, since that tends to get pretty warm as well. Besides those pulse points, I personally also like to spray the back of my neck. I do that because it leaves a trail of scent as you walk by someone, which can be attractive. So overall, we're looking at two on the neck, two on the wrists or inner elbow, and one on the back of the neck. That's five total sprays. However, not every fragrance is built the same. Some require more sprays, some less. If you do wanna add one more spray, I like this area right here on top of my inner chest. And if you want to do less than five sprays, if your fragrance is really too powerful, let's say, then I would skip the wrists and I would just spray under your ears and the back of your neck. While I have your attention, let me ask you for a quick favor. Please hit that subscribe button because if you're liking this video so far, we're almost at 4 million subscribers, which is crazy and I'm so excited to get to that milestone. That would mean the world to me and it costs you nothing. So thank you for supporting my channel over all of these years. It means the world to me. Now let's talk about spraying fragrances on clothes. Is it okay to do that? Fragrances are designed to interact with your own body's chemistry, right? Your temperature. However, I do find that fragrances last longer on fabric, on your clothes. Just be careful not to spritz on fabric that stains like silk, for example. So yeah, if you're going out for the day and you need that fragrance to last all day, then I definitely recommend spraying the five sprays with your clothes on. And typically some of that spritz will attach to your clothes and make that scent last even longer. Just remember that your shirt will smell like the fragrance for a while. As long as you're okay with that, there's really no issues with spraying fragrances on your clothes. Now, one of the reasons why 
why I like the Ajmal Gold and Blanche collections is because they're so long lasting. I can spray number five at let's say 6 p.m. before I leave my place and I'm still gonna get compliments late into the night, which is exactly what you want from a luxury fragrance, right? This fragrance right here, number five, is exactly what you need. It's so smooth, it projects extremely well. Um, I do have a date in a few hours, so might as well spray some more of this now. Honestly, not even for my day. I just love moving my arms around when I spray it on my wrist. Move my arms around and I catch a whiff, even if I'm working at home, it's just a beautiful scent. And of course, this is just one of the five from the Gold Collection. All of them are incredible. I'd say the Blanche Collection, even though it's unisex, the scents tend to be more fruity, sweet, I guess more feminine in that way, but it does depend on your personal preference. And the packaging is so luxurious. This box feels more like a, a bar of gold. It's thick, it's heavy. It has this really great texture on the outside and the inner is lined with this soft, velvety fabric. As someone who makes products for my brands, I always really appreciate when brands go above and beyond with their packaging. Little things like having a magnet at the closure, which, you know, Ajmal did. Like, I love that stuff. I nerd out on it and I appreciate this craft a lot more, knowing how difficult it is to nail something like this. So props to Ajmal for making not only a beautiful bottle of fragrance, but also going above and beyond with the box that it comes in. But let's talk about the three don'ts when it comes to spraying fragrance. The first one being don't overspray. This is a big issue. Overspraying means you're gonna smell overwhelming. It's too much. For example, your friends are picking you up and you're going out. You spray eight times, right? You walk out the door into your friend's car and that will absolutely be too much in that enclosed space of a car. It's gonna feel like they're drowning in your scent. And let me tell you, no matter how good your fragrance is, I don't care how much you paid for it, or if it's my favorite fragrance, if you overspray, it will smell bad. It's overpowering, it's overwhelming, and that's never good. Overspraying is gonna have the opposite effect on people. Instead of them wanting to get closer to you, to smell you and find out what that scent is, they're actually gonna stay away from you so they can get some fresh air because you have this heavy cloud of fragrance around you. The second don't is don't mist. What's misting? When you create a little cloud of fragrance by spraying the air, right, and then you walk into it. I've seen some girls like jumping into it like that's gonna be any better. It's not. You want the fragrance oils to stick to your skin, so you have to spray directly onto your skin, or like I said, you can spray a small amount onto the fabric of your shirt. And don't number three, do not rub your wrists together after you spray fragrance. This is one of the most common mistakes when it comes to applying fragrances. Doing that only causes the fragrance to fade faster, and here's why. You're not allowing the head notes, the top layer of a fragrance that gives it its distinct scent, to settle on your skin. That's gonna break down the composition of that scent and it's not gonna last as long on your skin. All you have to do is spray and let it dry naturally so it doesn't crush those top notes. And look, there's a ton of other don'ts that you should be aware of in your life that might be keeping you from winning and being successful. You can watch this video right here to learn what those toxic habits are and why they're so bad for you. And you should definitely check out the Ajmal Gold and Blanche collections available exclusively at Perfumania in the US. Thank you Ajmal for sponsoring today's video. I love these fragrances, they're incredible. And thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.